What was your growing up there like? I mean, were you a were you a, a hooligan growing up Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Yeah. So to the fullest extent. That's like why I started YouTube doing story times about shit I was mm, getting into in Vegas. Right. Absolutely. You're just like 21 by the time you're like 13, 14. You're wow. partying in the hotels and the casinos and you know what I mean? Everyone's selling drugs, doing drugs. So what do you what did your parents do for a living? When did, when did you guys move there? Um they lived there for like 20 years before me. Okay. Um and they were like older, like a lot older. Um, Your parents are older? Yeah. Are you only child? Yes. Okay, interesting. Um, but they're not like, my best friend's family like basically adopted me when I was like 13. Mm. Like and took me and like now every holiday I go see them. They're my family mm. 100%. But like my family I was born into, they were, they were just very crazy. They, I mean... All their money was very elite. Nah, I, ugh, it's so hard. I, I can't say a lot of things for legal reasons. There's like a whole. With your parents? Uh-huh. Really? Which is nuts. Um, well, so how long did you live with your parents? I mean, I guess technically until I was like 15. But like by 14, I was still like staying with my friends for like months at a time and shit. Like I was, I was out. It was just a very wow. volatile environment. Mm. And so growing up know. with your parents, they were like, what, what is, do they have like some kind of like, what, what was it? How old, how much older are they? Um, my parents were like in their fifties raising me. Okay. Um, and they just, in my opinion, weren't very good people. Like mm. we just, you know what I mean? We just, they weren't, I was very independent. Like I did everything on my own for as long as I can remember it. Like it just even my meals and my money and getting to school and doing it. That's one of the main reasons I dropped out of school. Mm. Like it was just like nothing was a functioning routine. And I never learned that. I was very much so independent. And anytime I really needed to fall on a parental figure for anything, it was always my best friend's family. Wow. That's got to be and painful, though, that, like, your f relationship with your parents is so fraught. 100%. I mean, that's, 100%. That's hard. That's really... And obviously being an only child through that as well and not mm -hmm. really having someone yeah. to, like... And that's why I credit my best friend to, like, saving my life or, like, being mm. my brother. He still lives with me to this day. Like, he's literally my mm. brother, and it's amazing. I credit him to really helping me with that. And I've tried to work out... There's so much trauma and so many things that I can't wait to talk about one day. Um... Jeanette McCurdy wrote that book that was like, I'm glad my mom died. Yeah, is and it she, like that? It 100%. Holy fuck, dude. Like, I can't wait until, but... You want your parents no. to die? I don't want them to die. Would I don't you want be, anyone you, to would die. Would you be sad if they died? It's weird. I just had this recently, like, I guess, I found out through the grapevine that my mom was, like, super sick, I guess, right? My birth mom. And um, You don't talk to them at all. You don't know all. anything and about And even them. then, it was like... It was up in the air of like, what if she dies, right? And I have this whole existential moment of like, would that like, I remember crying and I was like, why am I crying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel like this person ever loved me. Mm -hmm. And I, but it's sad knowing that it's closed. I guess you'll always have that irrational you, hope that mm -hmm. they could one day be people and like apologize. It's not even right? irrational. We need, yeah. we need the love of our Well, parents. I just mean situationally irrational. I know they never yeah, will. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, And I yeah. was like, why, you know what I mean? And I, I went to therapy about it a lot. My therapist was like, and it's hard to when you talk to people about it because it's very much like, what if my mom dies? And everyone's like, call her, call her, talk to her. That's your mom, that's your mom. And I've always been such a firm believer in like, because people have said that to me my whole life. And you know, I'm like, I don't talk to my parents. I, they're, I, they're not my cup of tea. And people are like, but that, it's your mom, it's your dad. But to me, it's if someone never you shows say, you the love. When of, you mm -hmm. say it wasn't my cup of tea, I don't think people understand. I know. I'm, it sounds like I'm there speaking was, in my legal terms. It like, sounds like <laughs> there was abuse. Absolutely. It sounds like yeah. it was a really traumatic. Absolutely. You know, but and so. I've said that before, and then I've been in court having to almost pay millions of dollars wow. for slander. Really? Um, you so can it, slander your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, like, what damage what? are you gonna do to them? Yeah, I. So, are you going through litigation right now with no, your parents? This was it's um, over. This was like two, three years ago. Probably. And did you guys settle? Yeah, at, because at it's basically. I guess I can talk about this. I don't know. I mean, well, did you sign lawyer, an NDA? I signed a non-disparagement. So because don't don't disparage them. That means yeah. you can be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll I received, disparage I them. I received a letter, you know that. 
basically said, you said these things on this reality show. You know, when I was on MTV and I had a show, mm -hmm. we went and kind of toured my childhood homes and I said a lot of things that someone in court could say, <laughs> you know, create a loss of income or, which is so untrue. It was definitely just a money, a cash grab. Everyone was very, in my opinion, um, but everyone was very aware of it being like that. And it went back and forth for a while. And then it got to the point where it would have been, and this was peak COVID, so it was all over Zoom and just awful for my mental state as well. Like having to just like relive so much stuff all the time that to me, I felt like I had been beginning to put to rest. And um, it got to a point where it would have been years in court and it would have been a public trial and it would have been like medical subpoenas. Seriously? Medical subpoenas all the time and just like, so much shit you couldn't you couldn't get rid of it on, on like before a trial uh-uh i tried as hard as i possibly what the could fuck? um and and i just i don't want to see them i don't ever again i don't want to talk to them ever again i don't want to feel that way ever again i don't want to watch them defend that all the shit that they did to me was that they were good parents just watching in my opinion lie mm -hmm. and um yeah, we settled and I had to pay them like a couple hundred thousand dollars. And wow. It that must have felt like shit. Oh my God. That was like the day in my head where they really like, they were dead to me. You know what I mean? Because if you can do that to your kid. I'm mind blown. Yeah, you suck. But I'm, words can't express how grateful I am for my best friend's family. Like they, they are literally my mother and my father and he has siblings and they're my brother and my sister and I'm lucky as fuck. Because so... Mm. You know what I mean? I'm, I guess so many people don't go through Tana Mojo's life where you have a reality show and your parents sue you. And that your was a very, I would but, say that is a very, 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 very rare upbringing of what 100%. you're describing. Like that's, that's yeah. wild. Um, Do you find it odd that like, there's two people, they apparently love each other well, or they're still together, right? They're not divorced. Look, I mean, it was the most toxic thing. I've they ever were not like a happy married couple. At all. At all. So it was just all bad. Mm. Loveless house. But it, 100%. But I think that um, trauma bonds are very real. You know what I mean? So I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you what they're doing, where they're at, anything like that. Probably so, spending my money, probably at the casino. Uh -huh. gambling. <laughs> what was it that you said that, that, they, su that, the, that they took issue with? Um, Without you, saying it's like, true. Just yeah. saying this is what I... Like, I, I yeah. it, because the way that that type of lawsuit works, especially because you can do it two ways. You can pay a lawyer a lump sum or pay a lawyer hourly or pay a lawyer, retain them to go do it. Or you can pay a lawyer a percentage of if you win. Yeah. And those are, that's what they had. You know what I mean? Yeah. That type of lawyer. And that's scarier too, because then the lawyer is like mm -hmm. hungry yeah. to, because if they don't For win, they sure. don't win any money. For do you know right. what I mean? Absolutely. So it's just a thousand anecdotal sentences like oh there were roaches in my just house just a bunch up. of shit or oh i remember like you know what i mean hypothetically i could have said something like oh i didn't eat for a week growing up mm -hmm. like there were no, there was no food or there was roaches in the house or so they, they just itemized all this shit. itemized every and then i just had to sit in court and sit there and go through every single sentence and wow. defend it as hard as i can like i never oh, I, I was talking about how when i got to la one of the first things i spent money on was an immense amount of dental work and then it wow. was because mm -hmm. i never really yeah had dental care <laughs> yeah. you can't, can't say it you can't say it <clears throat> Yeah. 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 But you can say you got a bunch of dental work and we can infer what that means. Yeah. Um, just, but just, uh, yeah, everything. It was crazy for sure. Damn. But I, I definitely. And you had to sit through that and they would sit there too on Zoom? A lot of it, luckily, thankfully, was mediation based where I would say something to a mediator and the mediator would go say it to them and then they would say something to the mediator and the mediator would come back and say it, which honestly I think really saved my mental health a lot because I think that if I had to, yeah, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. it would have been a lot harder. It was crazy. I just hired my, um, what would be my executive assistant for the next like three years and her mm -hmm. first like real thing with me like now mm. it's like come help me with dizzy but with with her it was like let's go to court every day <laughs> wow. and i need you to take notes and it was nuts that's how i, I knew she was a great person and rode for me because it was very intense but yeah shout out she's shout here out kyla no that's big but that's oh, okay, pretty incredible okay. <laughs> that you uh survived that that sounds really really it's fucking so yeah, it's hard. i'll definitely insane. have to unpack a lot of trauma but in my life but 
You know what I mean? I, I got a lot of therapy about it. And the therapist was very, helped me work through the fact that like, why do I want to give peace to people who never gave me peace and type of thing. You, you know want to I mean? give peace to them? No, like if they were dying, like I would only be doing, I would only be saying like goodbye for them. Would you do I, that? If they were like on their deathbed, would no. you say anything? No. Mm -mm. What if they call, what if you're, whatever, maybe, yeah. what if they called you and they're like, hey, I'm dying. I just want to. I wouldn't uh, answer. Really? I mean, well, I don't answer unknown callers and I wouldn't answer if it was their number, I guess. And I mean, I guess if somehow an interaction happened where we were on the phone, they said that I would, I mean, I would probably just respond like a human being. Like, I'm really sorry that's happening. And Damn. hope just, you were in a better place in the last quarter. Uh, got any shit you can sell to give me my money back? I well, you know, know, you know, uh, you can't defame dead people. Just saying. That's, trust uh, me, I... So <laughs> I think about that once daily. they um, yeah. expire. Yeah, it's all you. that actually I, I want I want to write a book so bad. Mm. I've written so much about all the shit I've done in LA, but to me it feels so incomplete without that's mm. huge. a childhood story. So it's that's honestly the only reason I don't have a serious but life story up until now out. I guess. Well, mm -hmm. I'm kind of as as parents. Yeah, me too. Like we're parents now and. I just, I can't even imagine. Like, That's what's exciting for me, though. I will say one of the things so that broken. brings me, like, peace and happiness is one day I can't wait to be a yeah. mother who loves their children yeah. so much. And do it your, your way. Absolutely. And you know what I mean? And maybe that was the purpose of all of it. I don't know. I'll never know. So anyways, guys, what's the <laughs> frame <laughs> to? It's so sad. It's so no, sad. And I feel like... I think it tells... It's it, it very... I mean, this is a huge part of who you are. And, and I, I think, think that's it's, why it I really so, is ex so crazy. It explains a lot. Yeah, yeah ex exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, uh, no, well, no, but how could you not be crazy like and do crazy stuff? Yeah. It's like, what My the first manager I really accredit to teaching me a lot of so much just shit, I, social shit I never learned. Like how to... You know what I mean? I accredit so many of my OG scandals to me just being like a lawless fucking Did, fatherless yeah. rat. Mm -hmm. You know, like I needed to learn a lot. Did about. you? Was there one parent that you had a bigger issue with, or were they both kind of equally horrible? Equally horrible in different ways. Well, I think you know what I mean. God yeah. damn. Yeah. <sighs> Being sued but, by your own parent, I feel like it's like a stab in the dude, heart. It's like, it, what the hell? We weren't in a good place, you know, when it happened, I guess. But I didn't... That's that's just such a further thing, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, but they, further, they, but... It's so hard. I hate having to talk about it. Because you know me, I'm so... That's the only time I can't talk about shit the way I want to mm -hmm. is when there's legality and it drives me... And that's what sucks, too, yeah. is feeling silenced about it, for right. sure. But, like, um, I don't even know, like... They always, in my opinion, I think that my financial success excited them. There were a lot of mm. instances sure. where I was paying for things. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For them, by force. I, I, my 18th birthday was the happiest day of my life because I'd been doing this for like three years. And they were, con you know, I, I was a minor. They were controlling my finances. Really? So, absolutely. Wow. They were collected. Like, if you got a check from YouTube, they would take it. Or, like, not or give you... Ac oh, my God, really? They had yeah. access to it. I mean, yeah, it's you have to be emancipated legally, at least in the state of Nevada. I guess that makes to, sense. I mean, you're under 18. Oh Usually God. parents aren't that horrible to do that. Um, 100%. Um, and, oh, my God. And I was so bitter for years seeing the people with the, like, loving momager who, mm -hmm. like, helps. Oh, my God. But, yeah. um... Yeah, in, the, in Nevada, you have to be to you have to be like legally emancipated, and usually, an emancipation requires a sign off of the parents. But what parent who wants the benefits of yeah of are gonna you know? And then obviously, there's other ways around that, but they were just so difficult. Um, Had you looked into the legal options of like separating from your parents? It was that yeah. bad. Oh my god, I remember being 14, like knowing what emancipation meant. Wow. You know what I mean? Like I was. Oh yeah. And so <clears throat> that I find that interesting. So, at what age were you? starting to make money based on your your career probably 16 17 and were you making like a good amount of money back then that was like yeah i mean i remember my first adsense check was like i remember it was like five thousand wow. dollars that's life-changing yeah absolutely especially was, if you're 16 and i'd been dropped out of school for a couple years it didn't seem like anyone cared about my future mm -hmm. and i was working a minimum wage job what were you doing 
Um, I worked at, I did retail, a bunch of different retail, like yeah. Sun and yeah. different stores like that. Yeah. Um, and in my head, it was like, I will, I'm going to have to work my way up here mm -hmm. and save money if I ever wanted a future in an education and, or I'm going to go be a stripper because I live in Vegas. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? It's just like, fuck, what do you do? Um, were you so able to save money? Um, yeah. You were able to keep some of the money for yourself. Yeah. I, and I don't think it was, I wasn't just ever, I never noticed like, I don't even know. I, I I get so scared to say anything, um, cause God, I would hate to be back in court. But yeah, um, it, yeah the shit was just getting bought a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot by you know what I mean. And and I'd moved out at one point, like by sixteen or seventeen. I um, it's I don't know if I can say all of this. I really don't. I really I I don't think it's in my best interest to okay. tell the story yeah. legally. Is, do people yeah. know all this stuff? Um, is this something you've talked about, like with your this background? This is actually your the life? most in depth. I, I've talked about it. People do because I feel like it's so important to who you are. That one hundred percent, and that's that was my a real battle with it. Like, and it still is emotionally for me. I would love to be able to just tell my fucking, mm -hmm. and I thought I was until I, you know receive that shit like i thought i was able to what's the consequence of doing that i wonder like if you consulted with an attorney you're like i just want to say everything like what happens what's another the lawsuit another lawsuit? if if that's their journey you know how can I mean? they win that lawsuit though or you don't even go through that you don't want to go through i don't want to go through it, it. Yeah. i really 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 <laughs> yeah, don't I get and it. it's, yeah. it's a lot of money and like yeah it's, it's time and, emotional yeah dan yeah yeah it's just it's, terrible i remember thinking at one point you know like the lawyer again that they're lawyer was so hungry because it was based on that and the things the lawyer would just come and say like are you sure you want to be in court because i'm gonna we're gonna pitch it like this this and this you we're know? gonna drag you're, it out Kenna, and you're it, yeah. a drugged out hollywood oh, awful God. piece of shit who doesn't love you're their like, family yeah, and you have that. two sweet <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah. um two sweet elderly <laughs> parents who just loved you so much and were the best like it, it scares you yeah, it's so bullshit like, that's not how the gonna, world works is a court gonna side with zero percent chance but it's the it's the emotional battle yeah but it, i mean for a while i think in that time i really believed like what if people didn't believe me mm -hmm. you know which is like scary i guess yeah um that's really one of the most fucked up things i've heard yeah <laughs> <laughs> empathy h3 unlock yeah that's, no. No, that's I'm... crazy <laughs> i i promise you I, i'm i'm fine you don't have to 5150 me at coachella um um, no, I think actually considering all of that, I'm really impressed that cool. you've managed all this. And like going through I thought you were just a mess because you, I just thought you were a mess. But now, <laughs> but now I see that there's a whole explanation. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that makes me really appreciate you. trying to clean up the mess all these years. <laughs> but uh, we'll get there. I guess I, I'm not like, you know how I am. I don't fucking care if people like me or not. One day I'll be able to tell my whole life story and maybe I'll win some people back. But I can't wait to read it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's going to be, um, you know, it's what there's like a special poison in that where it's like they they put you through this and then they don't even let you have the story. That's what right. sucks. That's what sucks. Well, I think some people are often narcissistic with abuse and they don't even want to believe that they are. They don't believe that mm -hmm. they are yeah. that. denial. And it's and that's all I ever wanted my whole life. You know, just like, hey, I'm sorry we but that's never you know yeah. some the, people can't come to terms with yeah yes is that know? the fantasy that one day they just apologize and like now they're no. like we were right you were right and we were wrong now no now because i've i've healed from that regard i mm -hmm. guess I, i'm not looking for it it wouldn't like now i just like cool <laughs> you know like <laughs> when i was younger uh, absolutely and you always wish it was different mm -hmm. but i'm also not upset with the the hand that i've been dealt and in the end i was just home and my man and i went and visited my family and they were they're just so sweet and we were it was like so uh, like amar like my best friend's family it was awesome like mm -hmm. you know it's 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 normal to me now and i love it and i love them so thank god for that eh? yeah we're good people the out best. there all right